bit of recognition at last. Um, 600,000 viewers a month and South Ribble Borough Council as a way of thanks for publicising Preston uh, to the whole world. They've resurfaced this road for me so uh, my photographs and videos look better. So thanks for that. New into stock, Volkswagen Amarok, 2 litre BI TDI. It's a trend line SEL pickup, 4 motion. It's a 2012 on a 62 plate. It has done 65,531 miles. I've been out in it this morning. It's really, really nice to drive. Feels very, very solid. Um, a real good workhorse, I, I would say. So front fog lamps, we've got these plastic wheel arch extenders, five spoke alloys and they've got BF Goodrich uh, all-terrain tyres on them, all good. Uh, the chrome, it's not a sidestep, it's more a sill protector that. Rear privacy glass, mud flaps all round. Reversing sensors here in the bumper, a good substantial tow bar there. Now, uh, this has got a load cover on it. It's called a, a roll and lock. Now, I think it should have been called a, a lock and roll, but there you go. These, the, the rear tailgate, it's very, very substantial. First of all, unlock that, slide that forward, and then you've got, it's a, it's a hell of a weight that, and it's also, covered in checker plate aluminium as well uh, for a proper load area. It's got uh, the plastic lining inside and this has also got a load cover as well so should have been well looked after. This, I'll just move this, allows access to the whole lot there. Now I may have just cocked that up now. So we've got this. There you go. that forward a bit so it's like weightlifting there you go and then fasten that lock so all your tools are enclosed and that I think has a key in it yes so you can lock that cover there oops Plenty of room in the back, nice and comfortable. High rear seats, rear headrests. There's a third inertia rear belt for the for the centre person. So if you're using it for for work, then you can get to there's room for five of you and all your tools in the back. And the, of course the tools are separate. So um, it's a, a really really handy vehicle. Rear pr privacy glass in the uh, rear window and the side windows here everything about it really really well built and and looks like it's made for hard use it's uh, grab handles here and also one on the side here for for getting out so uh, as i say plenty of room nice cloth upholstery um i prefer the look of leather however i prefer to drive a car that's got cloth um days like this it's nice and warm in the uk you're not, your back of your shirt's not wet through all the time, even with air conditioning. So uh, if you, if you, the last thing you want, if it is a work tool, is five big sweaty guys uh, in a confined space. So great idea for, for the cloth. It's also got Isofix rear uh, child seat anchor points here. So uh, well, well thought out, nice vehicle. Just take you for a ride in it. Two VW keys with the proper blades, proper ignition lock. Get the aircon on quick. There we go, so aircon on. Just turn it down a little bit. We've got sat nav, height and reach adjustable steering wheel there. Just turn the navy on, show map. You see where we're going. I'll turn this aircon down so it's not uh, doesn't make too much noise on the tape and the video. 
really really nice vehicle finished in silver with grey cloth upholstery the chrome big thick chrome side sill protectors feels like a, an absolute animal this and feels like you could go anywhere in it I'm quite impressed to be honest first Amarok I've driven but um, as far as the pickups go I would say it uh, certainly feels like one of the best and uh, good VW product I, I did notice um, went through the service book before it's got a, a good service history and there was also a little sticker in the book I'm assuming that's the recall for uh, the diesel cheat device or whatever it was they put on it so it looks like that's been done couldn't see any marks on it but uh, BF Goodrich tyres on which uh, when I just started to drive those are the tyres to have with a BF Goodrich in white Yeah, I remember saving up trying to get some on my Hillman Hunter. Um, nice and clean, not been properly cleaned yet, but will be. Uh, just a bit dusty on the outside, but lovely inside. Nice handling around the roundabout. give it some gas, see what it's like. You're not going to buy it to be racing anywhere, but uh, it's, it's one of those vehicles, as I've said before in other pickups, it's something that you can use for work every day and for at weekends, go out in it, so it's tidy enough and presentable enough, you put all your dirty stuff in the back in the, in the pickup section with the roll cover and keep the inside nice and tidy it's also handy for hobbies and uh, get your bike in the back or anything else just check the cruise control and uh, can't just remember how you switch this on got sat nav it's, it looks like it's got Google Maps as well Bluetooth hands-free audio streaming and there we go we managed to switch the crew's on there, so that's at least working. I've not got a great deal of confidence that this guy knows where he's going in front. instrument cluster, left hand side rev counter, information display in the center and then speedo on the right, somebody else with a pickup there, that's a Navara, nice gear change well, I made a pig's ear of that one. I just wanted to stop actually, I was hoping the lights were on red there. got the um, roll and lock 
blind over the load area. It's uh, fully lined with thick plastic anyway, and it's also got a load cover. Let me just see that. So that's right. So that's off. That's cancel. So that's off there. I think the switch on the top of the indicator stalk, push right over to the right hand side and then find knock it over to the left and then click set. Yep, that's it. So I'll just uh, increase the speed there. If you click on the top button, it's increasing the speed. We'll just get up to 70, we're in sixth. There we are, 70, just a little bit over, just knock it down. Great. There's a little indicator there I couldn't see before because the, the sun was on it. But we're doing 70 there at 2,000 revs. Nice and quiet, real good driving position, high up, see over everything. Electric window switches are here, electric dormer is there. Just uh, click the right one, make sure that's, yep, that's all working. Yep, left one working too. working fine just tuck in behind these cars and come off here your four wheel drive controls here low there ordinary four-wheel drive, cup holders, nice front central armrest. So there's the uh, nice information display there. So you've got Navi, radio, DVD, and then we've got source here. That's working fine. Touch screen onto Bluetooth there. The unusual thing about this, normally you change to uh, Bluetooth audio streaming via the source button but here I, I think you have to go into the telephone and then click the uh, musical note symbol there and that brings on the Bluetooth audio streaming. I'll show you how to pay your mobile and how to set the sat nav uh, when we get back. Also, we've been the double cab. Some of the single cab pickups feel a bit lightweight on the back and a bit bouncy. Uh, of course, when, when there's no load in them, there's uh, nothing over the back wheels. But this seems a bit more, a bit, bit better balanced. Not as bouncy on the back. Not you, sometimes you feel like you you kind of skitter around uh, corners in there. Uh, single cab pickups but this this is uh, this just drives like a car really nice steering I don't think this guy knows what he's doing either.
get um, a tiny bit of noise off the all-terrain tyres, but certainly nothing. I've, I've heard a lot worse, a, probably a thousand times worse with some all-terrain tyres, so they, these are really good too. the weight very nice vehicle John's uh, excelled himself yet again some of these pickups you get well that we don't get but some some pickups that I see for sale at other garages or I've seen for sale and they've been absolutely battered real workhorses um, scuffed to bits everywhere all the trim scuffed so um, so, so you could use this for Sunday best as well miles an hour. It's a real bumpy road this. And that, that's, I'm happy with this. We, we do these test drives to make sure everything's all right before we put them in the workshop for a, a ramp inspection and pre-delivery check. Just make sure everything's working okay and no overheating problems or no rattles, knocks, whines vibrations through the steering all, all that's good it's uh, it's absolutely superb so I'll finish the test drive there and uh, I'll when we get back to the garage I'll show you how to uh, set the sat nav uh, pay your mobile stream audio and delete a mobile too if that's necessary <laughs> 